Yep. I'm milking it, guys. <laughs> More reacting to past content. Now, this was, what, <laughs> 513 views special. Couldn't have done it at 500, 550, 600, maybe. Uploaded a month after... Oh, which video was that? The one we did two days ago. Hang on, yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> Bloopers slash 513 view special. Again, why? I want to do two videos today, so... Two reaction videos, rather. So I might speed it up just a tiny bit. <laughs> let's drop a like on my video. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's watch the cringe. So, that is... <sighs> That's it for today. And, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, these are bloopers, aren't they? Hmm? <laughs> like I said in the Metallica Riffs video, that's the one. This was uploaded a month after that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's just thought of the wrong fret. <laughs> the rest is correct, though. <laughs> the video wouldn't stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Run cord. Because <laughs> they are really just some of the most intense, fast songs <laughs> I know. Like, you know, um, Gematri and, um... Ooh, my cat is here. <laughs> oh, it's actually the next video I'm going to be reacting to. Where's the mistake? <laughs> Again with this one. Finish the multiplayer... Wait, what? Like, loads of... Did ones. I just say finish, finish the Finish the multiplayer. <laughs> Played loads of... What do you call it? Oh. Spec Ops. <laughs> so, I hope you liked the video. That's it for um all my bloopers so far. <laughs> and thanks for 500 views, everyone. <laughs> and I'll still be making videos pretty much daily. If I have ideas. <laughs> oh. Anyway, next video. <laughs> Announcements slash album reviews. Oh, I remember I watched this back a few months ago. Hey, let's drop a like on my video again. And I'm also getting views. All right, let's see what we got. Good news, everyone. <laughs> the other day I hit 500 views. <laughs> So sometime soon there'll be a special video celebrating that. If you remember last video... Bro, why not this video? I said that we were going to do an album review. Wait, hang on. <laughs> I accidentally picked up another piece of paper. Couldn't help myself. So, own. we have Metallica's Black Album. Hmm. Ride the Lightning. Hmm. All Hope is Gone. Very interesting, kid. Master of Puppets. Oh, still my favorite album of all time. In fact, I'm wearing the t-shirt right now. And Justice for All. And Seasons in the Abyss. Ooh. And in no particular order, let's start off with And Justice for oh, All. Quick side note. <clears throat> Once I listen to all of Slayer's albums, I might do an album ranking. Oh, Andrew for Dream Theater. Although they have 14 albums, so, um, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Cool. So my personal favourite tracks would have to be... Tracks? Blackened One and Harvester of Sorrow. And not Die as Eve. Not To Live Is To Die. Not literally any other song off the album. Because, <sighs> honestly, they got the... Yeah. Another side note, I used to be one of those people who would only listen to the hits of an album. I wouldn't actually listen to it in, listen to it in full, which was kind of weird, <laughs> given that I actually went and bought the albums. Anyway. Best riffs, best intros, best solos. 
best everything, really. The next album we're going to look at is Seasons in the Abyss. What? So only spend like 15 minutes? Oh, 15 seconds on each album? Wow. My favourite songs I fear are War Ensemble, Expendable Youth, Dead Skin Mask, and the title track. How about Spirit in Black? How about Skeletons of Society? No, scratch that. I find that song kind of boring. Did I say Dead Skin Mask? As long as I fear, uh, War Ensemble, Expendable Youth, Dead Skin Mask, and... The yes, Hunter I did. <clears throat> I like these songs in particular, because, you know, War Ensemble pretty much some Slayer up. Because, you know, it's fast, it's got memorable hmm. riffs, things like that. <laughs> and then you have Dead Skin Mask and Seasons in the Abyss, which are, you know, slowed down and really quite creepy songs. Correct. And now, my personal favourite out of my whole collection... And still true to the state. Master day. of Puppets. Although Dream Theater scenes from a memory actually comes pretty close. Sorry, my favourite song of here Tire is track? a five-way tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Between Battery, Master of Puppets, Sanitarium, and Disposable Heroes. Hang on, I think Battery, I just... Master of Puppets, Sanitarium, and Disposable Heroes. <laughs> That's only four songs. Heroes. <laughs> Because, you know, they've all just got the best riffs on solos. Next, we will have All Hope Is Gone. Why does my um Australian, my slight Australian accent sound even heavier than it does now? <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of jarring. Oh. <laughs> my personal favourites would have to be Gematria, Sulphur, Psychosocial, and Dead Memories. Because, as... How about Vendetta? How about the title track? The title track is amazing. For usual, as you'd expect from Slim Knot, they always just have insanely good drumming, good solos, really <coughs> fast ones too, and good riffing as well. Next we will have Ride the Lightning. Hmm. This has got to be like my second or third favourite. My favourite songs being Ride the Lightning, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Especially Creeping Death and The Call of Cthulhu. Mm. I like For Whom the Bell Tolls because, honestly, who could forget the bass in that song? <laughs> and Creeping Death, start to finish, is just the best song ever, in my opinion. <laughs> it's fast, it's good riffs, it's really catchy. <laughs> Epic solo, too, well, from the... K. <laughs> I did not think I'd find these videos this humorous. And then you have The Call of Cthulhu, which is, you know, really good instrumental. True. <clears throat> good riffs, good intro, really good bass again. <laughs> and finally, got the Black Album. So, my favourite songs have to be It's Sandman, Said by True. One of the best that I don't say the god that failed in Wherever I May Roam, or Through the Nether, or The Struggle Within. Where I May Roam and Nothing Else Matters. Like I said before, I didn't used to really listen to albums in full, <clears throat> which looking back on, I really regret doing, because I ended up going back and finding some really great songs. Because, you know, Enter the Same Man is Sad But True, really catchy, good riffs, good to headbang too as well. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to see that. <laughs> So, that is it for today, but, um... <laughs> oh, this must be the section of the video where I do my announcement. <laughs> I'll speed it up slightly more. I'm hoping to get Kill Em All, which is Patelic's first album. Oh, I still don't have that. Oh, I need that in the album collection. And my brother, who owns All Hope Is Gone, hmm. he really wants to get their first album, because that's really good, too. I believe that's Slipknot's best album. <laughs> Oh, I might do a Slipknot album ranking too, that'd be good. Sorry, next video, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I might do the 500 views special. Yes. Or, actually, I might review my amp. Amps, <laughs> maybe even. I might even review the what? Ibanez and the PV by themselves. <clears throat> well then, That's great, see you kid. next time. <laughs> Alright, what are the other two that I opened? Let's just do one really long reaction video, why not? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is really cringe as well. Uploaded a day after the video we just watched, too. 
Like, this is really cringe. Probably quite funny. Oh, no. Go on, I'd love to play some guitar. Yes. <gasps> 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 After this video is done, I'm snipping to all my reaction. That That's funny as. <laughs> okay, Solo Master of Puppets by Metallica. Mm. I think I can do this. Come on. Can't be that hard, can it? This is really cringe. <laughs> I'm just ready to go, then I'm like, nope, got to play the two chords before it. <laughs> Anything else? Oh boy, this is going to be super cringe, isn't it? Do you have your guitars? Oh, cool. Can you play Sweet Child of Mine for me? That'd be awesome. How about Smoke on the Water? Wait, what? Can you change the Oh, jamming? What? Oh, playing along with just another song. Okay. <laughs> Screwing up the roots. Oh, Sanitarium. Very nice. It's got to switch back to clean. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, don't I tear the couch apart? Yes. I finally got all my things together. <clears throat> Oh, I just dropped one. Ah, where to go? <laughs> I love how the Wi-Fi That's mode is on the end. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is it? <laughs> How's the pillow on their head? The one place I forgot to check. Underneath me. <laughs> Someone ruins your setup. Oh, this, this, this still drives me nuts. Because sometimes if like dad's vacuuming or something, it'll just be thrown to the side. Really? Hmm. It's actually not a bad setup though. Oh, what? Who touched <laughs> this? I have to do it. If I'm not mistaken, when I did this video, <clears throat> I literally just turned the whole thing upside down and dropped it. Yep, see, it's in the exact same position as it should have been. But fall again. Sorry, that is it for today. If you guys can request more things in the comments down below, might even do a part two of this video. I'm sure all of you guitarists out there can relate to this, because every single one of these things in this video has definitely happened to me before. Today or tomorrow, I'm probably going to even upload another um, top favorite riffs videos. Probably if do no, maybe a Slayer or Slipknot, so oh. that'd be pretty fun. When I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to do that, actually. Um, five songs from ten different bands. That'd be a great video to make. Fun. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Does this have any comments? <laughs> I should give them both a thumb up. <laughs> Whammy bot tricks. Oh, this would have been inspired by Stevie T's video. That's one of his best videos, might I point out. It's like my video again. 41 views? What? Oh. Great YouTuber, might I add. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Before we get to today's video, I just wanted to mention that. Oh no. It's getting pretty dark outside. <laughs> so today we're going to look at whammy bar tricks. Oh, better get mine. <laughs> Give me any of you guys out there who ever watched Jared Dines' music is win, Stevie T, you'll probably recognize a couple of these tricks. Yep. <laughs> Being slightly younger, you know, I was more easily influenced. So I saw those videos and I was like, hey, that could be really good. And I'm pretty sure I stole literally everything from these videos. Because <laughs> oh. I stole them. <laughs> they <laughs> There it is, I stole Anyway, <laughs> let's first look at how to sound like a plane going past. Now, yeah, that was off CVT's video. So what you do yep. <laughs> is you turn off your volume. 
play the high E. Let me up a little bit, and then... That's the low E. Come back down and turn your volume off. <laughs> Fun little story. I actually did that when my dad was sitting on the couch, and I actually worked. <laughs> I got him to think it was a plane. So now, pretty much every time I'm mucking around with some whammy bar things, everyone's like, do the dime bag barrel whammy bar trick. Which True. is basically a really high-pitched, painful third fret harmonic. You probably can't hear it because my volume's off. <laughs> now, how to do it, which normally takes me a few attempts. It's not Basically, even that hard. <laughs> just play the G, go down. What did I say? I don't always get a first go. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> While we're looking at Pantera, let's look at a classic song. This may not be a whammy bar trick, but who cares? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now this is one I do all. The <laughs> what an idiot! Fine. Basically, what you do is you turn on a bunch of delay. A bunch of delay. <laughs> like that. Let's Wait, top thread on the G and then very slowly go down. Alright, jokes is like that actually dies. sounds really good. Wait, did I just make a death joke? Until the note dies. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, if any of you guys have a Floyd Rose and you love doing whammy stuff, like Oh, there's one more. You'll probably get the question, Oh, are you out of tune? Well, let's have a look. Okay, he's good. A is good. B. Do you want to bring up the meme of um, G always being out of tune? He's good. G. <laughs> I bet you guys have all heard the popular joke that your G would never stay tuned. B. There it is. <laughs> For once, I actually am. Wow. <laughs> For once? I remember my old school as this guy. I guess you could call him like a metal elitist. <laughs> Pretty scary people they are. I remember getting this and bringing <laughs> it to school. And I was like, oh yeah, set it off. And he was like, oh, you can't set it up, retard. Give it to a guitar shop. And I was mm. like, I think I set it up okay. I did. <laughs> Although, at the time, it was nearly a half step out of tune, because at the time, I didn't have tune up. I and remember that. Right now, the bridge wasn't quite <gasps> level. What? Because <laughs> it's meant to be, let's see, about that. That was the worst camera angle I could have picked. <laughs> Tiny difference, but a lot of people do notice it. It does mm. tend to affect the action. But besides that, it's fine. Anyway, hmm. let's look at another trick. Trink. Yeah, this trick is from Master of Puppets. About halfway through the solo, <laughs> Kirk does a little thing like this. Alright, enough of that. My PS3 games collection, isn't this one extremely cringe as well? <laughs> my one is wasting my time. <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> Hey everybody, today we're mm. going to be having a look at my PlayStation 3 games collection. The games are... Stuntman Ignition. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls V Legendary Edition. I love how I didn't even call Skyrim. Star Volume 2. Oh. <laughs> Portal 2. Still have that. Motorstorm Apocalypse. I think I got rid of that. Sean White Skateboarding. Got rid of it. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, love that game. Still have it, of course. The Last of Us. My, my copy broke. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Excellent third-person shooter. If you ever see it, you, sh you should get it. It's really good. Grand Theft Auto 5. Still probably my favourite game of all time. Alongside another game we'll get to in a second. Game's about to fall over. <laughs> Uncharted. Yep, that one. <clears throat> two. Love this game. <laughs> Still do. Grid two. God, we're only like halfway. Mm. Sega Rally. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Got rid of that as well. Metal Gear Solid 4. Got rid of that. Need for Speed Shift. Still Call have that. Modern Warfare 3. Still have it. 
Call of Duty Ghosts. Still have it. Borderlands 2. Still have it. Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Oh, Call of Duty Modern it. Warfare. Still have it. Driver San Francisco. Still have it. Minecraft. What? Mass Effect 2. Oh. Sing Star Abba. You start playing that again. Red Dead Redemption. Jeez, look S how high S the stack X. is. <laughs> I say that slowly because if you say it fast enough, it sounds like you're saying sex. <laughs> Uncharted 3. That copy did not work. <laughs> um, Just Cause 2. Dead Space 2. Ooh. Only 11 more to go. 11 more? Far Cry 2. Got rid of that. Battlefield 3. Got rid of that. Ratchet and Clank are cracking time. Got rid of Assassin's that. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Got rid of that. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Ooh. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Got rid of Bennett that. Bennett Paradise. Need for Speed Rivals. Grand Turismo 5. You can tell them the end. finally, Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition. Oh, another great game. Ooh. Now, obviously, I'm not going to talk about these games one by one, because that'll be like a, you know, whole Ice Age long video. So, I'm probably <laughs> talking about like my top 10, 15 favorite games. Even that would take too long. This video is like first nine game minutes series long. I'll talk about it's Need for Speed. Now, when I was about, mm. oh, you know, eight or nine, I love Need for Speed. Sorry, we got Need for Speed Shift. Because, you know. <laughs> I love how I just completely got sidetracked with the point I was making. That's funny ass. All that race car driving. See in the back. I'm actually pretty close to finishing this. I got like the Getty Fair on. Still haven't finished the, uh, it. The Lamborghini in fact. on. Like the Koenigsegg and the Pagani and all that. Because the game towards the end actually gets pretty hard. So we got Need Speed Rivals. I don't really have much to say about this. Other than you can choose to be cops or all races, which is pretty cool. Mm. And then you got Need Speed Hot Pursuit. Which is similar. Also, not a lot to say about this, but it's pretty good actually. The next series we'll talk about is Call of Duty. Now, Let's we've got go. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. <clears throat> Haven't actually really played this one, so we'll move on. <laughs> Black Ops 2. I've spent so many hours on this, you know. Zombies oh, finished this straight. campaign twice, maybe. I only finished it once. And me and my brother and my sisters, we play so much multiplayer. Still do. Modern Warfare 2. So again, it's Modern Warfare 2. Finished the campaign, played a lot of multiplayer. I also really like the Spec Ops mode too. I think I've got like, maybe like 60% completion on it. Anyway. I now have like 75, maybe 80%. <clears throat> Call of Duty Ghosts. Crap. I haven't really played the campaign. You got Infection on multiplayer, which is a lot of fun. Me and my brother play that a lot. Still do. <laughs> but I haven't really played the campaign yet. Next game. I think I started playing the campaign literally that night. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3. I've been playing this a fair bit recently. I don't even think I've touched the campaign yet. Played a fair bit of multiplayer and I've also played... <laughs> it's a pretty dumb campaign, I must say. It's like... Too over the top for its own good. <laughs> and I love over the top. I love, like, Transformers movies. <laughs> um, Mission Impossible, all that. So that's kind of weird to say. Time <laughs> Spec Ops. Modern Warfare 1. Good game this is. <laughs> so, I finished the campaign. Played a whole... Finished it five times now. Whole bunch of multiplayer. Oh, there is no Spec Ops mode, is there? <laughs> Modern okay, Warfare 2 introduced that. Black Ops 1. Now, this was the first Call of Duty I ever got, actually. True. I'd say I finished the campaign twice. Once. Played a whole oh, bunch hang of... Hang on. Oh yeah, I'm like halfway through it a second time. Multiplayer. And a ton of zombies as well. Hmm. Next game. Uncharted 3. I remember, I think I played like two missions of this. Then guess what happened? The disc stopped working. <laughs> Real shame. I really love Uncharted. <clears throat> Next game. You know, is... I actually recently got it from the library. I finished it and um, last night I started playing it again. Really good games. Borderlands 2. This is a good game. Again, mm. I play this with my brother. Recently, I've been playing a lot, actually. Next Through game. that. Oh, GTA 4. <laughs> so much fun to just, like, muck around on. You know, me and my brother, we normally just do, like... Yeah, because the campaign's kind of... 
exactly the same 50% of the time. <laughs> Backflips off buildings, dick around in cars, <laughs> crash helicopters, shoot people, dick run around. away from cops. Everything they should when you play GTA. <laughs> now, these next three games have got to be my favourite games of all time. That's actually still true. To, to, the last of us. to this day. God, this is good. It's really cinematic. Good. Again, the, the copy broke. <clears throat> Combat. Awesome story. Hmm. I just played this so much. I remember getting it and I just did not stop. So true. much fun. Can I talk about Uncharted 2? Uncharted 2. Yep. <laughs> Unlike Uncharted 3, this one actually worked. It was actually pretty glitchy, though, because, you know, that's what happens when you get pre-owned games from EB Games. Hang on, what did I say about Uncharted, Uncharted 3? 2. Unlike Uncharted 3, this one actually worked. Alright, hold on a second. <laughs> I might slightly touch on the criticisms of Uncharted 3 here. A lot of people think it's the the, the parts of the game where, you, where your young Drake didn't really need to be in there. I thought it was actually some really good fan service because, of course, <clears throat> you find out how they how um, Drake and Sully teamed up, which which was a really enjoyable part of the game. And what's the other big thing about Uncharted Three that people don't like? Um, they say it's a step down in quality. Like Uncharted Two is near perfection, so <laughs> Uncharted Three being not quite as good was like nearly bound to happen. It's like the same thing with The Godfather Part 3. And this video is about to get super ranty, isn't it? <laughs> the Godfather Part 1 and 2 are both amazing movies. That some, and some argue the second one's better than the first. So it's only natural that the third one probably wouldn't live up to it. And plus, it was a 16-year gap. <laughs> anyway. It was actually pretty glitchy, though, because, you know, that's what happens when you get pre-owned games from... DB Games, you don't know if we're going to be bad or not. <laughs> I finished this. Same kind of thing with The Last of Us. Well, it's made by the same people. So, similar kind of thing. <laughs> Cinematic, good combat, all that kind of thing. Now for my favourite game. I've now finished Uncharted 2 five times, I think. <clears throat> I'm probably going to do a sixth. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> 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 Even I'm like, uh, this is stupid. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five. I think I've finished the story of this maybe three times. Four times now. And recently I've been playing a lot of multiplayer too. Like in about hmm. two weeks I went from like, you know, level zero to about level... Twenty? Oh I think I'm level 18 now. Oh. <laughs> so much fun. Probably played like, you know, about 60, 70 hours all up. Probably now close to double that. <laughs> So, yeah, I've played this a lot. <laughs> I just ended there. Alright, that's enough. 28 minutes. Thanks for watching, I suppose.